G'day, Peter Morrison here from Adventure Kokoda. A trek across the Kokoda Trail is a once in a lifetime experience for most of our customers, but we want you to get the most out of this possible. There's plenty of information on the basic equipment that you'll need, but sometimes it's the little things that don't appear on any lists that can make the difference between a relatively comfortable trek and one to remember for the wrong reasons. There's a section on our website that lists 10 hot tips to help you during your journey, so make sure you check those out. But the purpose of this video is to let you in on a few little secrets and recommendations on gear selection our Trek leaders have developed over the years. They might seem simple, but these 10 little hints and tips will make your life just that little bit easier during your Kokoda journey. Tip number one is to bring along a chamois clock. Now these things are invaluable. They are lightweight, they're compact, and so they're easy to carry. And they're quick drying, either around a meal stop during lunch or around a campfire at night. They can be used to dry your feet or for mopping water or condensation from your tent floor. They're especially handy though when your boots are wet. You simply crunch them up, stick them inside your boots, which will draw all the moisture out. Then in the morning, you simply wring them out. Compression underwear is my next tip. Now anyone that's ever suffered from chafing will agree that it's best to be avoided. It can take down even the most prime of athletes. The heat, humidity, and long days marching on Kokoda create the perfect environment for disaster, so to speak. The longer thigh length prevents chafing. They're light to carry and they're quick drying after a swim or a wash in the creek each night. Carry two pairs of these, one to have on and wearing, and one to have clean and drying and used on rotation. Good hygiene is important while you're trekking. The jungle environment is the perfect breeding ground for germs. The last thing you want mid-trek is an upset stomach. We encourage everyone to sanitise their hands before they eat, using a small bottle of hand sanitizer just like this. But sometimes when you're on the run and you want a quick snack of lollies or trail mix, it's easy to forget. The next tip is to take along a spare water bottle. You can keep your lollies, trail mix, or your snacks in there. That way, you can simply pour them into your mouth and it minimises the hand contact and therefore the risk of germs. Adventure Kokoda Trek leaders are all remote area first aid qualified. And every trek has a dedicated PNG trek medic as part of our team. We ensure we are well stocked with first aid essentials to deal with injury or illness. However, we do ask our trekkers to bring along a small selection of personal first aid supplies. That way, they can treat themselves for minor afflictions and the prevention of such. Our next tip to save on space is to take all your first aid supplies and their directions of use out of their original packaging and keep them in small Ziploc bags. Mud and the Kokoda Trail go hand in hand. In most treks, you're going to experience it in some form or another. Our next tip is to use gaiters to prevent mud and rocks from getting into your boots and also to tuck the bottom of your trousers in and stop them dragging in the mud. We tend to steer away from gaiters that have press studs and velcro because they can easily clog with mud. Instead, we recommend these oil skin over boots. They're easily washable and they won't clog up with the mud. Our next tip is a nice and simple one and it's got to do with mud again. We recommend taking along a small scrubbing brush that way, you can use it to scrub the mud off your boots, your equipment, or your clothing at the end of the day. It's amazing how good you'll feel in the morning having clean equipment. Our next tip is a handy little piece of kit to ease your daily alone time. This outhouse from Sea to Summit helps you navigate a long drop without having to hold the toilet paper, the door, and your nose at the same time. The toilet paper simply rolls off the roll and it hangs around your neck to give your hands free. Once you've made camp at the end of each day and gone through your routine of foot care, it's important to keep your feet as dry and clean as possible. The next tip are these seal skin socks. They're waterproof, so they're ideal for wearing with your sandals around camp each night, especially when the ground is wet and muddy. It doesn't take much research to know that on Kokoda, it can get wet. In fact, that's a bit of an understatement. When it rains, it really rains, and it doesn't take much for you and everything that you own to get absolutely saturated. It's really important to keep your possessions as dry as possible. To do this, you can use a series of dry sacks. You can either use a single pack liner to line the inside of your bag and stick everything you own inside of that, or you can use a series of dry sacks and color code them to help make life easier. These Cedar Summit ones are perfect. They're made from PVC free nylon fabric, they're double stitched for durability, and this roll top closure system guarantees a good seal. Each morning, you'll be required to empty out your tent in the dark. Our final tip is to get hold of one of these Luki solar lights. They're great for lighting your tent, or even in a mess hut, for meal times, for a game of cards in the evening. 
Having one of these also helps save your head torch battery power. Our Adventure Kakoda Facebook page is updated regularly with information and training sessions. And our Trek leaders are always available with helpful advice.